It's holiday time, time to spend time with friends and family and give gifts to all the people we care about. But gift buying is stressful, especially for me when it's those little things that I don't want to put in stockings or I just want to give something, something little for somebody to let them know that I'm thinking about them. Those get tough for me. So in this video, I'm going to give you some travel related ones that I think that people in your life will love. Now, what I've done to make your shopping even easier is I put links to all these items in the description below. So just go below the video, click open the description and you'll see a whole link where you can click, give them your card, buy the item, it comes to your house, all easy peasy and taken care of. Now my list is not based on my favorite or whatever, it's just great items that I've learned over the experience of my travels over the last several years that I love and it's by how I pick them up off the table, be exactly honest. So let's get started. Okay, when I travel international, I don't take jewelry with me. I just don't because I don't want to be a target when I'm out on the street walking on sidewalks. But there's usually one or two nights or dinners or something where I want to feel special and beautiful and I want some jewelry. So that's why I have this jewelry box. It's just big enough for a set or two of rings and, and bracelets and necklaces so that I can feel pretty um, and I can take it with me. It's sturdy. So it's not gonna get squished or lost. And here's the kicker that this is why I love this one. Pay attention to this part is it's black. So I throw it in the bottom of my bag, my backpack, things like that. And if I don't know it's down there cause it's so small and it's so dark in a backpack, if I don't know it's there, I'm not finding it. Which means that the stranger who should not be in your bag that's looking around isn't going to find it either because he doesn't know to look for this. So I love this particular one in black because it just blends in, but it still lets me take something with me that makes me feel special. Now this gift I gave to hubby and I have to tell you, when he first got it, he was completely underwhelmed, but he loves it now. It's a pill case. And like it said, it gets very small. It goes in a bag, a backpack really well, doesn't stand out. But what's nice about it is that they're numbered one through eight, not Monday through Friday. Because when you're flying across time zones, it's rather common you can't keep up with what day of the week it is. Well, you don't have to. You just have to know it's the first day of your resort, it's the last day of your resort. The other thing that's nice about them is there's AM and PM. So therefore, if you're like hubby who has to take a ridiculously little small pill in the morning that we're trying to dig through the container and find and oh my word, you don't have to worry about that. It's your AM ones are in your number one in this little zip package and you know exactly what it is. And then over here, your PM one matches up. So when I gave it, like I said, underwhelmed, but now loves it. Good suggestion. In the era of COVID, this has become one of my favorite little travel things. I'm about get my information to people, but let's don't let everybody touch it that doesn't have to. So this is a logistical holder. It's designed that over here is designed to hold your COVID vaccine card. Cause there's a lot of places that we travel. They want to see this card. Well, I've learned that if it's in this thing and I do like this and show it to them, people don't need to touch it. And I'm not about everybody touching my stuff. The other thing is it holds my passport, same thing. The fact that TSA has to swipe it and stuff, the barcode's in there, less touching, less touching, less stamping. So it's all right there together. Now, this is a little trick that I learned about this that I've been doing for years before COVID when I had one of these also, is you see these little slots, they're designed for credit cards. I don't use them that way. What I do is that all during my travel, when I have a butler that's helped me or I have a restaurateur that's been really nice and give me great food and service, things like that. If they give me a card or I find a little piece of paper and use my pen that's over here and I make a note of their name, I slide all that stuff in these little slots. And when I, and I just keep it all together. And when I get home, 
I pull all those little cards out and when I'm doing all my positive reviews on TripAdvisor and VRBO and all the places that I love giving positive feedback to people who deserve it, I've got their names right there because I'm not losing my passport, thus I'm not losing their names. Now, if your recipient is a flyer, this is awesome. And it's supposed to sound like that. Don't worry. It just keeps sounding like that forever. I don't know why. But anyway, so it's this little small. And what this is, is a sanity for somebody that flies in economy and needs to have room and area that's little space. This is a cell phone holder. So when you are on the plane and you've got your table there and you're wanting to watch your movies because so many of the people that are airlines now have apps but you use your own phone but if you're eating and stuff you don't have a place to put it so what it does is it holds any phone and this thing really stretches so that it can you know hold almost any phone that's out there and then it's got this little thing on the bottom that works like this and it'll hold on to the back of the tray table i also hook it to that top of that weird plastic thing that's supposed to hold magazines they have on the back of, of planes now. You name it, this thing will hook onto it and I can sit there and watch my movie, have things on my tray table and have not to have to hold things in my hand and I got a little bit more space in that crambler area of economy flying that we all love so much. Finally, this is another gift that I love because this saves me from being embarrassed. This is a bag scale. So I am all about, if they tell me my bag can go at 50 pounds, my bag will be packed to 49.5 pounds every time because I'm gonna take as much as I can within that area. But I also have had the bag show up when it's 52 pounds and I'm not paying that extra 50 bucks at the terminal what i do instead is i sit there get on the floor and unzip and start moving things around this saves me from doing that as i buy and use things you just turn it on it you hook your bag here it tells you how much your bag weighs i keep this in the outside package of my suitcase and this keeps me from being embarrassed at the airport so this is a good stocking stuffer small a gift idea for anybody that's about to get on a plane or someplace that has to have weighted bags when Hubby and I travel alone, we like to have pictures of two of us together, but that's not always possible. So this is a thing I picked up a while back that I enjoy. I call it a photo clicker. There's probably a real name, but that's what I call it. It hooks up by Bluetooth to my phone and it allows me to just press the button. And when I do, it makes the photo on my phone click. I also have a tripod, but I can't show you because I'm using it right now. So that's two great ideas for stocking stuffers. The clicker and the tripod allows people that are traveling by themselves or just with one other person to be able to get their own pictures of themselves in it. This little bitty thing allows me to get better sleep. And the reason being is that when you're flying international, you fly a lot of time zones and it's not unusual that you're tired and then you gotta get up the next morning early for another flight or something real important. And in all honesty, I never trust my phone has caught up with me on the time zone or the hotel clock is gonna work. And so this is an autonomous clock. I set it for the time I want. The alarm is loud and allows me to sleep comfortably knowing this thing is gonna wake me up. So this little beauty is a great way of giving travelers a peace of mind so they can sleep. Isn't this thing cute, but it's also really functional. It's a night light. So if you're like me that I have to get up in the middle of the night, especially if I've done time changes and things, I hate stumbling into a bathroom and bumping into things and making noises, or I hate turning on the bathroom light and waking up hubby. So what's cool about this is that it's completely separable, so it travels small. And it completely rotates around so you can make the light face whichever way you want and then it's motion censored so that whenever you face it a certain way it picks up the motion it turns on and it has different levels of how bright it gets I keep it on pretty dim it allows me to see what I need to do without getting you know too much light and then at 30 seconds after there's not any motion it turns itself off so it allows me to feel comfortable in a place that I don't know in the middle of the night without making a big scene and waking everybody up. This one's a great stocking stuffer. 
I have a lot of trouble sleeping on planes because there's so much light or in a resort in a hotel room where I'm not familiar with the weird little green glowy lights and things like this and so this mask has really helped me a lot and I've tried a lot of different ones and this one is my favorite the reason I like it is that one it came in a bag and which keeps it protected in my backpack and it has a little hook that I hook on that weird little hooky in my backpack so I just can find it when I need to the other thing I like about it is that it's thick and squishy so when you put it on it domes around your eyes because I hate having something when I'm sleeping pressing against my eyelashes it creeps me out and wakes me up so this one domes well and doesn't bother my eyes at the same time there's a piece of little metal down here that allows you to bend it completely around your nose and block out the dark on the bottom so I get a really good sleep when I wear this one thing to note this is my second one of these I ruined my first one because when I pack it I just fold it in half well that little piece of metal got where it had so many little kinks in it it wouldn't unkink so if you give it to a gift to somebody let them know to fold it in thirds and then put it in its little bag and therefore you protect the little piece of metal and it stays with a nice curve versus a pointy curve that's going to poke you in the nose. This really is a good gift idea. This infinity scarf is probably my number one most important travel item to be exactly honest. It is, like I said, it's an infinity scarf and lowly infinity scarf. They come in 40, 50 different colors on the website. And I've had this one for about 20 years. And I don't think they're in fashion anymore. But I don't use it for fashion. What I use it for is because the fabric that it's made of and the way it's double layers is that when I'm on an airplane or on a bus or someplace where you get one of those little chills that you just can't stand, this is now my blanket. And so it's got just enough warmth that it feels like it's a hug around you and cuts that chill. I use it also if I'm like in a museum or a restaurant and I come out and I wasn't expecting rain and there's rain, I throw it over me like this and I run to the subway or the car or whatever I've got to get to and I don't get drenched. But what's nice about it is because of the type of fabric it is, it then dries extremely fast and so it's not a problem for me to have with me. If you ever are traveling around me, check in my bag or backpack. This is always shoved down the bottom in some little compartment. And I guarantee it always at some point saves somebody on our trips. This is an awesome travel gift idea. Now, if you found this video helpful, remember the links are below. They'll help your shopping even more. But if you found this video helpful, then follow along and click on the next part of this series, which is for your gifts and your divers and your cruisers so that you'll have more ideas so that your shopping gets done even quicker.